You may be wondering what radiopharmacy is. Radiopharmacy involves the manufacture of radiopharmaceuticals, which are sterile radioactive medicines. They're used in nuclear medicine to help um, image how well different organs are working. A radiopharmaceutical is a complex made up of what I call a useful molecule, and that's a molecule that gets either stuck in the organ you're looking at or used by the organ you're looking at. And because you've tagged a radioactive tracer onto it, you can actually see what happens to the useful molecule within the body using the gamma camera, which can detect the radiation. So, for example, if you want to see how well someone's kidneys are working, um, your useful molecule is a molecule that just gets eliminated via the kidneys. So you inject it into the patient, it quickly goes all around the body, and then it comes out via the urine. It doesn't get taken up into any different parts of the body. And because you've tagged the radioactive tracer, you can actually watch the useful molecule accumulate in the kidneys and then empty out into the bladder. The process I do, making the complex, has to be done in a sterile environment so that we can make sure that we making things that are safe to inject into patients. So we have to go through a very specific hand washing regime. We have to take off our outdoor clothes, put scrubs on, keep our hair in a mop cap so that we don't end up with hairs and particles in the clean room. Once we've washed our hands, we then go into the changing area and um, put on some sterile, non-shedding clothing. This changing process has to be validated so that you can prove that you're able to change without contaminating the suits with any microorganisms and also without introducing them into the environment. It's important not to allow overshoes, for example, to touch the clean side of the changing area. Once we've changed, we go into a clean room. Um, the clean room is, is supplied with filtered air so that the microorganisms and particles in the environment are extremely low. We make sure that the equipment is kept to a minimum inside the clean room itself. The actual manufacture takes place in a cabinet that is supplied with air that's been filtered even more than the room. We're checking that we've got the right air flows in the cabinet. That has to be documented. All the materials that are used in the cabinet have to be cleaned before they can be put in there. So all our syringes and needles are all sprayed and wiped with meth. Everything that we do, we try and incorporate principles of radiation protection. So we keep the time that we handle things to a minimum. We shield the vials, we shield the syringes. Um, there's a screen, like a little L screen inside the cabinet. And again, that's to shield the operator to keep their exposure down as low as reasonably achievable. It's no higher than, say, if you were to move to Cornwall, because the background radiation in Cornwall is a little bit higher than it is in the West Midlands. You can see that the syringe is put into a syringe shield, again, to keep the radiation exposure to the operator down. And then it's introduced into the kit. For the majority of kits, it's very important that we keep air away from the complex, because this can break down the complex. Once the radioactive starter material has been drawn up into the syringe, it's diluted to a suitable volume and then it's added to the radiopharmaceutical kit. Some kits have to be boiled to make sure that the complex is formed. For most of them, it's just a matter of allowing the kit to incubate so that the reaction can take place and then the patient doses can be drawn up. What is technically you know, being done looks quite simple, but actually the chemistry of what's happening inside the kit is quite interesting as the new complex forms. We monitor our hands to make sure that we haven't contaminated ourselves before we go on to make the next product. After being in radio pharmacy for all this time, I'm still never bored and I still never think, is it home time? And do you know, I think that makes me pretty lucky. <laughs>